This post-match report is proudly brought to you by Complete Sports Management, More Footy, Less Admin and Stat Guru. When numbers matter. Hi, welcome everyone. My name is Vichit Rathi. I am here at the TH King Oval. The Glen Iris Gladiators hosted the Surrey Park Panthers uh, and they defeated them by 95 with the scoreline 95 to 30. I have with me the coach of uh, Surrey Park Panthers, Mr. Andrew White. Andrew, it was a good start, but uh, you lost the momentum in the second quarter. Yeah, the girls um, came out of the blocks pretty well, um, King the first goal, so that's the first goal for Ruby for the year, which was um, which was great. Um, and then, yeah, they dragged us back to a little bit. Yeah, they've obviously got some class players and they started to get on top of us, yeah. You performed quite well well today, though the scoreline doesn't suggest that. Yeah, yeah, look, that's our, our high score for the season. So kicking four goals was great. Um, we were a little short, so we um, had a couple of players, luckily from Glen Iris, that played for us, which was fantastic. Um, but yeah, a couple of new players today as well. So they're just starting to get into the game again. But um, I thought the effort from the girls was fantastic again, really good. The straight goals in the third quarter really hurt you. Yeah, they um, they kicked a few in the third. We came out a little bit of sleep, I think, after half time. Yeah. Um, one of the girls came straight from basketball, so she's a bit tired, and there's a few, you know, a bit sore and sorry already. But um, yeah, that, that, um, to their credit, Glen Ives a great team. They've got some good running players and some some hard at it players as well. So um, they've got some quality quality girls. And we haven't had a full squad yet. So, is it a possibility you can have it in the next match? Yeah, we, we picked up two girls today. It was their first game. We had uh, a couple of injuries from last week and then I had a couple of girls who were pulled out today just with sickness, so they're not feeling well. So, hopefully next week we might even get uh, a bench that we can rotate. So, um, yeah, if we can get back to a full squad, we'll be, um, yeah, it would be a chance. Yeah. Give, give some of the hard, you know, a lot of the harder working girls are uh, coming off a bit tired after the game, obviously, because they're, yeah. they're having to run all day. Okay. And we have, I mean, you have had three uh, three great performers so far, uh, Hannah McLaren, Kate Tanner, and Jade Stewart. Yeah. So up, uh, apart from them, uh, who can we look for look out for in the next few matches? Uh, next few matches, um, we'll expect those girls to go well again. Um, as I said, Ruby uh, Oldham Coombs, she uh, played really well today, kicked, kicked the goals. The door to yeah, at least Wright kicked one of our goals as well today. She's starting to work th- well through the midfield and going really well. Uh, Lani Kerr starting to get into the game. Um, yeah, look, there's a few of the girls who are just getting a few games under their belt and starting to um, to come good, or not come good, but starting to understand the game of footy and have an impact on it for sure, okay. which is good. Well, Andrew, thanks a lot for joining us. Hard luck again. No All the best for the next match. Okay, thanks, Vijay. Cheers. That was me, Vijit Rathi. Over to Vatsal now. Thank you, Vijit. This is Vatsal Patel for Complete Sports Management. Now I've got the coach of Glen Iris team, Patrick Dinatoli. Let's start with him. Patrick, first of all, congratulations for the victory. It was well deserved from your side. Thanks very much. Um, yeah, it was a great win for us today. Um, the team, obviously, were a bit slow to start, but uh, we finally switched on coming out of half time and started to put the foot down and started kicking a few, a few more goals than what we did in the first half. Um, the girls, I think the girls played pretty well today. Um, obviously, we had a couple of injuries, but I think we were pretty strong. Three, we probably had a strong three quarters after that first quarter. So, yeah, it was a good win today for us. I was really happy with how we went. And Sophia Mingue's performance was the uh, difference between both the team. What do you say about her performance? Uh, Soph, Soph's really started off, her, had a really start, good start to the year. Um, she kicked five goals last week against um, Q, so it was really good. And uh, she kicked six goals today. You know, she's had an amazing start and um, she was definitely the difference between the two teams today. Just strong marking overhead and just putting it through the goals. That's the main thing. All right, she did her job. She did what we asked her to do. So it's great for Soph to know the kick another, another bag today. So... Good work on Soph, so yeah. And what positive you took from today's game? I took a lot out of today's game. Um, Q are very, you don't underestimate them because especially how they came out in the first quarter, like we underestimated them, we got smashed, just we were getting smashed around the ground, whether we stoppages or goals or you know just how hard we're going at the ball. Um, a couple of other things I took out today was um, our younger girls, our under 15 girls who are playing under 18s this year, they um, really stepped up and it showed me the depth we've got in our squad. So I'm really confident about the squad we've got this year and I took a lot out of the, especially the younger girls today and how, 
how they played. So it was great. It's good. And the Brown got injured. Any injury update about that? So Brownie um, uh, copped a slight knock to the knee in the third third quarter. Um, she was complaining. She's complaining about uh, knee soreness before the game, and um, we thought we'd just take the risk with her, and she should be all right. And um, she copped a knock in the third quarter, so we just took a precautious co uh, approach and um, kept her off for the rest of the game, just to um, just to just to make sure she was all right. She'll see her physio during the week, and um, we'll reassess her training and see how she, if she pulls up all right for game day. But I think she'll be okay for now. So yeah. So thanks a lot, Patrick, for joining us and. Good luck for the next match. Thanks very much. Thank Cheers. You. Thank you. So this is Watsar Patel signing here from TH King Oval. This has been another complete sports management production.